Hello lovely people and welcome to London Diaries with Shika. So today's video is all about reviewing Surat's Autographic Liner and if you're curious to find out my views about this eyeliner then please keep on watching. Okay guys so let's get started. Now I have purchased this eyeliner pen a couple of weeks ago and I was basically in search for an eyeliner to replace my Tom Ford eye defining pen because um, although I did enjoy using that eyeliner it really wasn't like a game changer for me so I wanted to make sure that if I'm you know spending 40-50 pounds on an eyeliner let's try something different this time so I went for Surat eyeliner now this one retails for 40 pounds which is more or less what Tom Ford eye defining pen retails for I think when I purchased it was 41 pounds I'm not sure if they've increased it again now what I'm going to do first is just read a bit about this from the website now in London in UK I think it's available on cult beauty and Liberty London so I made my purchase from Liberty London and on Cult Beauty, unfortunately, it is out of stock at the moment, so you can join the waiting list. Okay, so this is what the website says. Inspired by the tools used in Japanese calligraphy and artistry, Surat's exacting autographic liner has an ultra-fine precision nib and indelible inky pigment to facilitate creation of a flawless feline flick. What's more, it's easily refillable. So once it's thrown out, just purchase a new ink cartridge. Okay, and then they talk about on how to use this eyeliner. So they say, use to achieve whisper thin lash line enhancement or to draw exaggerated feline flicks. Can be applied on top of eyeshadow. Thank God, I mean, who applies eyeliner under eyeshadows? The pen is refillable. Simply remove the empty cartridge and replace with Surat's Autographic Liner Refill in Chat Noir. Okay, so this is what the website says. Um, like I mentioned, I made my purchase from Liberty London as it was out of stock on Cult Beauty website. And this is how the, the pen looks. So you have like you have this matte black second half and you have this little bit of sparkly sprinkly top half so the way this was delivered that was that the pen came with a refill cartridge so inside actually was nothing and then I just had to untwist it from here and put the refill in and then just plug the top half in now the refill the metal part needs to be facing top and once you attach this removable part it just pierces through the metal part and the eyeliner starts working now this actually does give you a very precise line so here you see it So it's a dark and a precise line and you can just layer it to build it up. I'm going to insert a small clip of how I use this eyeliner and then I'll finish it off with my final views. just going to talk about what I feel about this eyeliner pen and also how does it sit in comparison to Tom Ford's eye defining pen now you know eyeliner struggles are real no matter how much of like a good makeup artist you are or a makeup person you are um, eyeliner always requires more attention and you always have to make sure you're focused so that the eyeliner comes off as clean as possible and if you have a good eyeliner that definitely helps because you know 
It doesn't matter how good you are at applying eyeliner, if the eyeliner is not good, it's going to get messed up. Now, this one is extremely easy to work with. You know, it just slides on like a dream. Actually, it's better performing pen than Tom Ford's eye defining pen. Um, it does last all day and it does not smudge. So, so far of all the eyeliners that I've ever used, this has to be the best one. Um, if I compare it with Tom Ford's eye defining pen, um, you know, the price isn't that much different. Tom Ford's eye defining pen now retails for 45 pounds. This one is 40 pounds. But the good thing about this one is that if you do finish it off, you can just purchase a refill and the refill retails for 18 pounds. So it's like an investment and after that, if you think about it, your eyeliner is costing you just 18 pounds. Whereas for Tom Ford, every time you have to purchase, you are going to have to repurchase it for 45 pounds. And to be fairly honest, I wouldn't necessarily recommend Tom Ford's eye defining pen. So if you are looking for a new eyeliner pen, I highly recommend you give a go to Surat's Autographic Liner Pen. Um, you're not going to be disappointed, whether you are like a beginner or whether you are somebody who has been applying eyeliners for ages. This pen works like a dream, so highly recommend it, give it a go and just fall in love with this. So I think that's it for today's video. Um, if you have any questions or if you want to share your favorite eyeliners, then please do leave them in the comment section down below. And until next time, please keep smiling. Bye. To Tom, De Tom DeFord. Oh, what am I doing? Really?